Yo, this is Cobram on Yuga Master, and I'm going to be showing you some replays today. I put a certain dragon in my deck, well, I'm pretty sure you can tell um, from the thumbnail <laughs> and title. Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End. Ignore Sage Pfizer Blue, I took it out a bit after this because I just didn't really like it. It's, it's great for blue eyes, sure, but sometimes you just get it, and it's just like, nah, man. Because, yeah, I, I was going to use it again, but I just didn't really like it too much. Um, but yeah, just I'm using Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End. Uh, I haven't used that monster in like 10 years, I want to say. Because me and my cousins used to, and friends, uh, we all used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! in person. And we didn't care about the Forbidden and Limited list, we just put whatever in our deck. So I was using Chaos Emperor Dragon and Boy of the End um, before the nerf happened. Because uh, now, yeah, there's like a, it has like a huge nerf, but it's fine. Um, anyway, I use Infinite Permanence. I don't know why my opponent placed Kashtira Birth on the, in the same column as my face down. That's your own fault. But yeah, Chaos Emperor Dragon has been legal for some time now because yeah, they they know like they they changed the effect to make it you know not forbidden anymore. It's such a such a cool monster. Let me know if you want to see me use the Pendulum version as well. I I just rather use this version because it's nostalgic for me because it, it is one of my favorite cards, and I do own the first edition of the card as well. Um, and yeah, but I did use that one in my deck back then, unfortunately. So. <laughs> Probably won't be in the best quality, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, just a really cool card. Well, back then. Now it's it's fine. It, uh, it was just nice to use again. Um, just thought I'd do something different because, you know, it's always... I mean, I yeah, I meant using Blue Eyes and Dark Magician, but I thought I'd change my Blue Eyes deck just a little bit. Um, just to chuck a dragon I used to love using. Um, one of Seto Kaiba's, you know, monsters. I mean, it was in the full arc, but doesn't matter. It's still cool. Um... But yeah, so I wasn't able to summon it much, unfortunately. Also, this is technically the third replay, but I had to delete the second replay because I was kind of scared that Yuga um, was going to have like a maintenance or something or just like if the game, the servers went down or something and they did some maintenance, like some emergency maintenance, then all the duels in the match history would get deleted. So I did have the replay in my match history, the one where I summoned Chaos Emperor Dragon. I, was, I didn't have enough room to save it, but I got a bit paranoid, so... <laughs> I deleted one replay, which was basically just me summoning Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon and Skill Drain. And then my opponent was using Flanderies, and they couldn't do anything. They just kept setting down a monster attack, setting down a monster attack, setting down a monster... It was just repetitive. Um, so I did get rid of that one, unfortunately, um, for the Chaos Emperor one. Just in case there was an emergency maintenance, but yeah. Um, I've been summoning um, Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon lately because you know, I am using it again. So I, I never thought I would keep using Blue Eyes uh, Abyss Dragon, but it does help with Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. So yeah. Um, so here I summon Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, and then end phase. Uh, but yeah, it, you know what? Chaos Emperor Dragon is pretty easy to summon because I do run some dark monsters. You know, Link Karibo, Assault Synchron. Um, Dictate of Dick. So, you know, it was pretty easy to summon Chaos Emperor Dragon. Just, the problem with Chaos Emperor Dragon is that now you cannot activate its effect, like, unless it's the only effect you're, you're going to activate that turn. So, for example, if you use Melody or some other effect, you cannot use Chaos Emperor Dragon's effect to send every card from the field in hand to the graveyard. Um, <coughs> what was that? Anyway, um... So yeah, th that's why it was a bit hard to summon um, Chaos Emperor Dragon, just because of that new effect. Well, not new anymore, because it's been like that for some years, but just that new addition to it. My opponent tried destroying um, there can be only one, but yeah, Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. I tried using the Pendulum one as well, I forgot to mention this, but I realized it's cards I control, like up to the number of cards I control. And sometimes with Blue Eyes, you don't really control many cards on the field, so that's why I'm using the original one, but I might try and use the Armageddon one eventually. So I use Dragon Shrine first, just so I don't draw Blue Eyes, I mean, less chances of drawing Blue Eyes White Dragon, you know, because um, I only run two. 
I wish I could run free, but no room. <laughs> so here I either wanted um, the White Stone of Ancients or Ultimate Fusion, not True Light. Either of these two, just so I can summon a level 8 monster, then play Assault Synchron, and then just summon Baron. Which, I really love using Blue Eyes with Baron. Like, it's just an Omni Negate with Blue Eyes, it's, it's really nice. I did get rid of the White Stone of Ancients, but here's the deal, I'm going to use my Omni Negate on a spell and trap or something, you know, that destroys Baron or monster, I don't know, use it and if my opponent wants to use a monster effect, bang, skill drain. And then my opponent left. I don't know why I kept this one, because it wasn't that long, but it was just pretty cool summoning Baron, that's all. Maybe I should have just deleted that one and kept the Flanderies one, <laughs> but I don't know, I just thought it'd be nice to show off Assault Synchron. Just got a bit on like, um, like it was a bit unfortunate how I couldn't like get Dictator Dick with Assault Synchron and the level 8 monster, but sure. I think this is the guy that spammed Maxi all the time. Like literally all the time. Like every time was my turn, Maxi, Maxi. So I was just like, well, um, you know, I can't do anything because, you know, keep throwing Maxi. So my opponent summoned the light monster which was good because you know but then my opponent did a fusion summon into this monster which is a light monster which i'm very fine with because you know mostly like branded monsters are just dark monsters so now my opponent can't summon the like dark monsters like the main branded monsters because of um gozen and my opponent got that from their graveyard to their hand pretty sure here my opponent just froze maxi again yep <sighs> <laughs> So here I um, I used Harpy's Feather Duster, then my opponent played that trap card to send a Prender Plant monster. Um, if my opponent didn't have, like, didn't have Maxi, I probably could have been in a very good spot, but yeah. So my opponent got that from their graveyard to their hand. I used Trade In on Blue Eyes White Dragon, just in case a card on the field gets destroyed, I can just summon Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. So here my opponent can't play any other monster, like, well, actually, I mean any dark monster. My opponent kept fusion summoning, they had a lot of light monsters, I guess my opponent just summoned that because it was like the only light monster in the extra deck, besides this one. So I summoned Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, um, and then yeah, my opponent didn't attack. So I was just stopping my opponent from um, summoning dark monsters, which is really nice. Then my opponent played this random Synchro I've never seen before in my life, Spellcaster, really. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I've never really seen that before. Um, so here I got the ultimate creature of destruction just in case. And here I attacked and bounced that fusion back. And then I summoned Blue Eyes White Dragon with True Light. And then I attacked directly. And then here I played Pot of Prosperity. And then I got yeah, I got rival, um, Rivalry. I didn't get Assault because of um, Gozen. But I would have got Assault if I didn't have Gozen. I was going to throw Maxi in my opponent's turn as Revenge. But unfortunately, my opponent left here. Because I knew I was just going to limit my opponent to having like one monster only. Like if they had summoned um, a Luba, bang. Like bang. You can only summon um, Fairies now. Alright, two more replays. Do I summon Chaos Emperor Dragon here? Do I even summon Chaos Emperor Dragon? I do, I do, I do. I know it just seems like I don't, but like I said, just the new effect it has just makes it harder, unfortunately. So here, you know, I didn't get like, like, not the best here. My opponent played, um, Droll and Lock, which I found pretty funny. Because it's like, rah, I can't do any, I, I, I can't get any more cards from my deck to my hand. So my opponent, um, played that spell card. And then got full on of Elbaz. Then my opponent summoned that, activated the effect. I used Skill Drain. And then I used Ultimate Fusion to summon Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. Um, I used Blue Eyes White Dragon and Blue Eyes Jet Dragon from my hand. Just so I can have Blue Eyes White Dragon in my graveyard, just in case I draw Blue Eyes Jet Dragon later or get it from my deck to my hand, I can just summon it. Because uh -huh, Blue Eyes White Dragon's in the graveyard. So that effect got negated. My opponent played that spell card and revealed full on of Elbaz. More like falling off shit, am I right? <laughs> you don't have two royal finish um, falling of Elbaz. 
I really want to dismantle them, but I would have. I would. If there were UR cards, I would have. But the SR, so I don't see any point dismantling them. That's the only reason why I have them. But yeah, two royal finished ones. So I used Harpy Feather Duster. My opponent tried activating the effect. Obviously, it's not going to go through because Skill Drain. Um, so Harpies. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, Branded Fusion. That's right. And then my opponent left. Yeah, I guess my opponent couldn't get Branded Fusion from their deck to their hand. <laughs> Last replay. Yes, I summoned Chaos Emperor Dragon here. I do apologize that took most of the replays. But like I said, just... Ugh. It feels like back then, it'd be so much easier to summon. But I get why they did that. Um, so here I couldn't really do anything. I was hoping my opponent didn't have Maxi. I kind of felt like that one guy in the other duel where I just kept throwing Maxi in my opponent's turn. Because, yeah, I have two Maxis. It's not my fault. Just I start off with two Maxis. My opponent got that from their deck to their hand. I was going to special summon that. So I used um, Maxi. And I went through. And of course, my opponent didn't want to special summon anymore because of Maxi. So I drew a card. Um, then my opponent got that from their deck to their hand. Then, yeah, put that there. Attack Dictator Dick. And then ended their turn. I was like, please give me um, Chaos Semper Dragon. But I got Melody. Which I was like, ooh. You know, that's pretty much Chaos Semper Dragon. Envoy of the End. Then I used trade in on Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. It was okay, my draw. But here, I was hoping my opponent wouldn't do anything. I used Maxi to stop my opponent from special summoning. And then I used Deck Melee 1 just to guarantee my opponent won't special summon. Like, I mean, because I'm pretty sure my opponent has like spell cast monsters in their hand or something. So this is the only spell cast that they can, um, can control. Then I used Maxi on that Pendulum effect. So my opponent attacked me directly. And then when I saw end phase, I was just smiling like Light Yagami. Oh my god. So here I, I special summoned Chaos Emperor Dragon. I used my effect. Paid a thousand life points. All of the cards we have in our hands and filled have been sent to the graveyard. Now it's whoever draws <laughs> the best cards here. So I opponent got that. I drew the best thing here. Harpy's Feather Dust. You want to know why? Yeah, sure. I destroy this, but you know what happens? Watch this. Harpy's Feather Duster. Destroy that. Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. Because I have Blue Eyes Light Dragon in my graveyard. I was so happy with this. I was like, this is the best showing of like Chaos Emperor Dragon I can do. You know? It was just perfect. Absolutely perfect. Then my opponent left. I was I was I was very satisfied with that. <laughs> it was nice seeing you again, Chaos Emperor Dragon. Alright, so this is the deck I was using in those replays. Um, you know what? I actually won six times in a row with this deck. Every time I see my win streak and I go, huh, cool, it, I just lose the next game. But I won six games and then I lost one, but then I won three after that. So it's been going pretty well, you know, I kind of want to keep Cal Semper Dragon, but I don't, I don't know, it was just for the showcase. Um, but yeah, every time I summoned Chaos Emperor Dragon back then, my cousins just got so annoyed because, you know, all the cards from our hand and filled were just sent to the graveyard. Because I'm pretty sure back then it was 300 for every card sent to the graveyard, but now it's your opponent's card sent to the graveyard that, like, they'll take 300 damage for, um, every card your, like, every card your opponent has was sent to the graveyard. But back then I'm pretty sure it was you and your opponent. And also, you cannot activate other cards or effects during the turn. You activate this card's effect. That's the other nerf. So yeah, they did like a, a huge nerf on this, but it's the only way to make it legal, I guess. But yeah, all right. Let me know if you want to see the other Chaos Emperor Dragon. Let me show you what it is. It's like a newer version. Let me know if you want to see this in another video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.